Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to a special. This is Retro Revival 2019. I've been to Retro Revival before as you probably know from my previous videos. But uh, yeah, here we are, here we are again at Retro Revival. This is a football stadium for Warsaw in the UK. So you can see the football pitch right here as it pans across. And yep, so uh, see if you can spot yourself in the video. So this is uh, a great day out for the family. Uh, I always, well I have attended most of these, I have missed a couple of them but yeah I try and make it because it's quite close to where I live and uh, it's always a great day out, you get to meet loads of uh, fellow uh, retro people and stuff you can see that the uh, there's loads of stalls, I highly recommend that when you do go that you get the uh, £5 early entry membership card, now I've never had that until I uh, did it this year, I've decided to finally buy us a couple of, uh, well, me and my partner had two uh, memory card, ship card each and you get some amazing bargains when you get the uh, card because you get to see uh, a lot of deals and stuff. I've also got in the works, which should be on tomorrow actually, a uh, pickups video to show you what I picked up from Metro Revival. Like a sort of, what's in the bag? Not a box, what's in the bag? Uh, video, so I'm going to show you that tomorrow. So you get to the great thing about Retro Revival, you get to play on like systems you might not be able to afford or stuff like uh, Amiga 4000, my all time dream machine. I still want an Amiga 4000. A lot of people who know me know that I want an Amiga 4000, and yeah, uh, you get to play on it. I did, I did try and play on it, but unfortunately, the it was slightly, slightly not working today, but uh. I did get to see it in, in the flesh and stuff. So, uh, yep, uh, you can see that you can have a point as well while you have your games. Everyone is just so in high spirits and it's just such a wonderful environment. You get you, you get all these stores, like the specialist stores, such as like uh, backlit modifications to Game Boys and stuff, which is really good. Here's some plushies here, you can get some colored toys as well. Uh, and yep, so. Uh, it's just a brilliant atmosphere and it's just a great day out and uh, if you want to be here and to plan some retro systems with a bunch of like-minded individuals you can it's uh, i've met so many people that i know from the internet uh in the group sorry it's in the group that's the wrong word in the uh, events so uh, yep you can see that they try and use crt televisions and monitors where possible to give a sort of authentic look Interestingly, I did see this year's Retro Revival, a uh, Amiga 500 Plus running Doom 1 better than a 486 computer, so I presume I was having a conversation with someone that I was talking to there and I presume it, he said, he suggested to me anyway that it was uh, basically not an Amiga 500 motherboard inside the shell and maybe maybe a, a modern equivalent replacement because it's quite difficult to get uh, accelerator boards running on the 500 apparently anyway so yeah he's an Amstrad CPC uh, see all the goodies that you can buy have a chat buy some goodies a computer I've never saw the Sega SC3000 there's a Enterprise computer I used in the last time I was here Dragon 32 uh, Wales best you can purchase loads of goodies all at reasonably cheap prices. A lot cheaper than eBay most of the time to be honest. Amiga 1200, two Amiga 1200s there. One's a Commodore 1 and one's actually three Amiga 1200s there. One's been painted red. One was a Commodore brand and one was an Epson brand. And here we go. So you got some, some loads of box goodies and unbox goodies and stuff. When I I like to try and find a bargain, so I like sometimes to try and get like... Sorry, let me just interrupt myself. Spectrum next, here we go. So, there was some, there was five or six models of the Spectrum next all on show. Here's the uh, moulded actual case version. It, it, I couldn't take a very good shot because I couldn't get very close to it because it was so popular. But it, it just looks superb and I just want some of that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just a great event. You got your uh, space invaders, your cups, your merchandises and stuff, and but there's many, many, many bargain bins. 
bad place. See that everyone's having a good time on these old systems. It's just really in a good environment and really good place to go and I really recommend it if you want something to do in Warsaw. But, but saying that, a lo loads of people do decide to travel miles and miles, 200, 300 miles just to come to this, so that proves how good it is. Plenty of coin-up machines. He's an Amiga 1000 here. Never saw one of them in real life. Amstrad C6128. Saw a few of them. This one's got an SD reader. It's just all the tables are neatly laid out and you're ready for you to just get yourself on a system and play. See this uh, little arcade board here and BBC Model Bs with modern SD readers and stuff just to demonstrate uh, the expandability that the retro community has done for these aging systems. I hope they're all capped. <laughs> Amiga 4000, oh my god, my dream machine. And we got an Amiga 3000, another all-time one. But when they are like a thousand pound plus, sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't think I can afford that at the moment. There was a Commodore 64 Ultimate, interestingly, in here as well. It was just a, a Commodore 64 shell with a Commodore 64 Ultimate board. So that was kind of cool. Spectrum games all for sale. Um, and yeah, it's just something that you should do. If you haven't done it and you're into retro gaming, I presume you're into retro gaming because you subscribe to my channel. Or if you're not subscribed to my channel, and you've come across this video you're probably still into retro gaming anyway and I'll, I'll recommend you do it if you can get there if, if it's not too far it's just such such a great day out and uh, there you go Samsung new one or noon or known or however you, however you say it very rare system 64 with the uh, the disk drive unit out one yeah it's just something to do for everyone. Packland Arcade Machine 1984 of course this uh, had many uh, ports on the home computers back in the day. Here I am trying to play it. <laughs> it's hard to play an arcade machine while starting the camera. You've got out one here. Someone's having a good game of that one. One of my favourite all-time arcade machines. Many Japanese themed stores as well, so you can get some imports in. Some decent prices with some of the systems and stuff. The Amstrad CPC up there and the Famicom and Atari XC. They're not too expensive considering what they are. And the good thing about the place as well, sometimes you can ask them to, te to show you working because obviously they've got the means to show you you working because you've got the TV and all the electrical outlets and stuff. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you like this one. The only X86 clown I saw was this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. So